Hi folks, this is all the fruit, and here I have Cornus exrugerensis, a variety of Hyperion. Beautiful, beautiful shrub, it seems, and it should be edible. It's, it's a dogwood, and its parent species are Cornus cosa and Cornus florida. They are growing here in the same park. And it's nice that they also have the hybrid, and yes, the hybrid kind of looks a little bit like a mix of both species. Cornus cosa looks more or less like this one, but with less bumpy skin. And in Cornus florida, the single fruits are actually separated. Fruiting quite profusely. Back there, there is another specimen, and there is a third specimen. I don't know if this plant stays smaller than Cosa and Florida. I didn't research it before I made the video. But all the three plants here in this park are still quite young and small. Hmm. What's not small are the fruits. Look at the size of this one. Mm -hmm. hmm. Fortunately, taste-wise is closer to Cosa than to Florida. Um, yeah, very typical also for Cosa, with the pinkish-reddish outside and the pale inside. This one is not 100% ripe, but already quite tasty. Florida is kind of bitter. I don't like it that much. Here the fruit was shed. The skin is a bit tough, so most people spit it out. Also be careful there. Can be seeds inside. Mm. Although I don't know if this hybrid has seeds. Mm. Uh. Here is a bigger fruit on the ground. Mm. Taste-wise, I would actually prefer good proveniences of Cornus Cosa. The ones here in the park are not much better than this hybrid. But yeah, it's an edible fruit, reasonably tasty, very beautiful, very ornamental. Even the fruits on a fruit platter will start a lot of discussions, I think. For a fruit orchard, I would probably still prefer a good tasting Cornus Cosa because I found some which are much tastier than this one. But if you want a Cornus collection, then yeah, Cornus Cosa would be the first one, Cornus Must the second for me, and this would maybe be the third, the third best tasting Cornus that I have ever encountered. So folks, tell me if you have some experience with Cornus exorgerensis. Do you use any dog food for food? They are being used for food on different continents, Europe, America, Asia, so some of you should have experience with them. Tell me your experience with them. Apart from that, stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful and incredibly fruit-rich German parks. And of course, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.